Capricorn, Capricorn, how are you doing? So we're going to do your yearly reading now. So, uh, yeah, I've just come off actually finishing Pisces, and then I did yours earlier, and I asked him for the, what was it, three or 400 likes and the 200 comments. Capricorn's like, oh, yeah? Uh, challenge, all right. Did you not realise that I can actually leave more comments than I can actually hit that like button just once? <laughs> so everybody's, like, spamming comments. <laughs> like, great, Capricorn, keep it up. But <laughs> it's going like, oh, yeah, you put me, oh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, go on then, Capricorn. <laughs> so if you can do me a favour, Cappies, if you can try, because we, we, everybody's, like, just liking and commenting. I mean, what about Capricorn? So if we can get, say, 400, 400. This is a challenge, Capricorn. I'm putting you to the test and a challenge. I don't think you can do it, Dave. I don't. So we're going to go for... 500 comments, right? 500 comments and 100, uh, sorry, 500 likes, <laughs> 500 comments. You ain't even got the goals. You ain't got the Braziers, Capricorn, to get 500 comments. But <laughs> if I get 100 comments and 500 likes, man, Capricorn, I'll take my hat off to you. I will. I will take, I ain't even got a hat and I will take it off, right? So 500 comments, 500. <laughs> I could be predicting something here. And you know what, Capricorn? Let's go for it. 500 comments, right? See if you can do it. And you do realize that you can, like, post loads of comments, right? Anyway, let's stop with the facade. Okay. Um, let's uh, see what you've got coming up for your yearly reading, Capricorn. The rest of it will continue over on uh, Patreon as normal. But we're gonna, we've got a lot of cards and a lot of things to get through, Capricorn. So I feel for you. I feel for you. Some, oh, okay. So this is getting serious, Capricorn. So what I'm hearing is, is that I feel for you and I am so sorry about what happened. I am so sorry for your loss of a Virgo or a life path nine. Don't know, but I'm so sorry for your loss. Losing my religion, REM. M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Justin, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. I'm so sorry for your loss. My condolences. Oh, dear. I don't really like bringing this up, Capricorn, because these predictions that I normally do have come true in, the, like, Sir Norman, Normington, Norris, Nigel, NYC, someone from New York. Um, definitely keep hearing that. Def, Steph, Jeff, Steve. So sorry for your loss. Oh, dear. I don't like these ones. So I don't know, man. Mm. I don't like bringing up Capricorn when I kind of hint on maybe someone losing someone throughout the year. Because when I've done it in past years, I've had friends where they're like, oh my God, I lost my, you know. Because, um, I mean, it can happen to anybody. It's like something comes all of a sudden and it's like it can happen to anybody. It's on the body. See, man, y'all guys come up with someone that was like, really ill or terminally ill okay uh, so this is obviously not going to be for everybody so i really don't want to freak you out capricorn okay but like this um it's on the body so it's like a cancer it could be a cancer and a puff but it's on the body which means that it could be like a malignant mole and it could relate to like cancer or something okay now i'm not saying that someone's going to lose their life but it's kind of like maybe, oh, okay, they're saying like lose a limb, lymph, lymph nodes. Okay, so that is cancer. But then I'm also hearing like losing a limb where there may be something malignant and it gets taken off. Now, it, like I said, the man, that could be a mole that someone has and it gets taken off. That would, that would be losing something. Um, because my, you know, when I'm channeling, it it can go down avenues of being something else than just something really serious. But whichever way around it is, what they're trying to say is, is that it could be something that's on the body or in the body and, like, needing to have it taken off or, like, go for an operation and something that's quite serious. Okay. Serious Sam. So the name Sam. Serious Sam was um, a computer game. Someone that is on compu on a computer. Oh, that's fucking everybody, Dave, isn't it? <laughs> um, I am so sorry for your loss. My condolences. But then there is also a, a loss of a limb or a loss of something that gets taken off and it gets taken down. Oh, okay. 
OK, so now they're saying that it might be something around, like, I don't know, YouTube or something, and whatever it is, because because in, in my head, straight away, I'm like, you put something up, and I'm sorry, but it's going to have to be taken down. OK, so it could be a, a video. It could be um, a house, something like, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to take it down. OK, so we, uh, what you're saying then, Dave? So we're sorry, but we are going to have to take it down. If I say Dave and I'm doing that, that's my spirit guide, right? I call him Dave. Um, but I'm sorry, but we're going to have to take it down. Dan, Danielle, Danny, we're going to have to take it down. You cannot have that up there. We're going to have to take it down. Are, are any of you got like children or like you're renovating a house or something and it's being built or and you have to have like planning permission in the UK if you're building a house you have to have it you have to have planning permission in order to be able to do it some people skip that process <laughs> and they go ahead and build something and they realize that they haven't got building permission or planning permission and then once they've built it the 10 year man comes around and says oh, I'm sorry but you didn't apply for a for planning permission so you're going to have to take it down. We we told you no, you can't build that there. You cannot have that there. So you're going to have to take it down. Okay. So it's something about going against the rules and not being able to have it up or have it there anymore. Now that could be something that's structural is what I'm kind of trying to work out. The message they're saying is structural, like a house or something. Could be a video or something of like, copyright claim or like internet based kind of business stuff and like it's someone else's idea and you can't have it there or like it's you can't have it there it's you're gonna have to take it down we don't agree with that it's kind of like a policy as such or a polyp <clears throat> but like a policy right or like an insurance claim or a policy okay and the policy is sticking by a guideline and um, let me make sure i'm recording yeah so like it's sticking by because <laughs> this is tv gold dave but like it's sticking by a policy and the policy states that this blah 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 is a set of rules and somebody is not following the rules okay and they're skipping past skippy someone from australia maybe but they're skipping past some of the rules and then thinking that they can bend the rules and get away with it could even be like tax evasion and stuff like you know <laughs> you you've got to do this or you have to do that and you haven't right so it's kind of a message that is there that could come well be coming up for you be wells a book profanity Fanny, <laughs> that's someone's backside. Well, that's someone's front side <coughs> in the UK. That's the Porsche. <coughs> the Porsche. Could have something to do with a Leo or an Aquarius placement place. Fish, Cod, Haddock, Pisces. This is how I channel, by the way, if you guys didn't know. It's how I channel for Scorpio, Aries. Cool, sounds like my child. Don't forget you can watch this as a Gemini as well as a Capricorn, because they're sixes. They're both major Arcana six. So if you're a Life Path six, you can watch it. Uh, and you can also watch Gemini readings. And if you're a Gemini, something rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node, you can watch Capricorn readings too. Libra too. So it, that's involving loads of people. It's not really saying too much. Um, so let's stick with the facts. Felix, facts. Facts, faxing. Jackson, Jackie, is there like some sort of like building construction or something here that has to be taken down? Because, you know, I've got three Geminis in my chart, so I have to be careful because I'm on YouTube. Um, so it's kind of like something that's profanity because I, I do know that um, YouTube is changing their law now, YouTube. They're always adding things on YouTube. I'm constantly getting things from YouTube saying that we're changing our policies. So there was like, you know, AI, like now AI is taking over a lot of things. People used to be able to make a channel with AI. This is very important if you're a person that does this, right? Because I'm giving you a heads up. <clears throat> so people that use AI 
Okay, like in the video that I did a little while ago where I did a story and that was not my voice. It was a narrator from an AI thing. I got a narrator to read it out. People used to make channels and make them grow really bigly, real big, right? And they used to put like all artificial stuff up on there of AI. They didn't show their face or whatnot and they came on and they kind of, they make this like artificial thing and it's nothing to do with a human. It's all built around AI. But now YouTube is kind of implementing a law to say that you are either one, not allowed to do that, or two, if you are, you won't be able to be monetized by doing that. Because people are now using AI to make loads of different things and post them up really quickly and make shitloads of money and revenue, but YouTube's kind of caught on to it. And it feels like that, something that's like artificial, it isn't real, okay, could be copyright, okay, so be very careful around copywriting and stuff especially if you guys like make music or you're putting videos up of like what I did, I dabble in a little bit of that, okay, um, that it might have to be taken down, okay? Now, that is a prediction, all of those. So be aware throughout the, your year of 2024, Capricorn, okay? So don't forget you've got the illness and the um, stuff that may be coming up around cancer, um, Sorry for your loss was a big um, energy there. So, like, if you've got, like, relatives or and stuff like that and people that are ill, make sure, you should do this anyway, <clears throat> make sure that you spend loads of time with them, okay? Because, you all know, right, okay, it's part of life, but it's kind of there as a message. So you got that. You've got this tearing down of something, of a building or a house, taking it down, there is something online that they really keep saying that may be online that needs to be taken down, okay? Um, so just be warned here, because there's a, there's a, yeah, there's like a warning, like having a warning, okay? A warden? So a warden is also in the UK someone that works for, like, traffic warden or a... Um, uh, someone that works for the police force or the army, but mainly like a screw, we call them, right? So you're in the police cells and a warden. <clears throat> More, okay, like warning, warning, warning. Like, they're, oh, okay. Oh, wow, man, you're getting some messages. So they're saying throughout the year there may be a flood warning. So in the UK, I hope, you know, we're kind of blessed in the fact that our um, stuff doesn't. They're saying like a flood warning, okay, flooding of water. Flooding. Okay, if anybody's also pregnant this year, then there's going to be a, a release of water. So that's going to be a pregnancy. So there's a, there isn't a warning there. They're saying that something in the stomach that is of a release is going to be born this year. So someone in your family or yourself, if you are pregnant, look out for those messages or you know someone because there's a, a bye-bye, Jenna, there. Okay, baby J. So I picked up this before in one of your messages where I said, AJ. Now, don't forget, I did predict when my girlfriend's brother, when they gave birth, he was a Gemini, he's a Libra, um, and I, I picked up the name. I'm not going to say it, but like uh, the name, the water sign, it was Pisces, something special about the boy. There was something special. It was born on my birthday. I predicted the name. Uh, eight pound eight ounces, Leo Aquarian. Uh, the name, the star sign, uh, uh, everything else. The camera, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Scan. So that's there. There's a release and a pregnancy. There is a lease, Annalise. Someone that's called Annalise, Alisa, Annalisa or Lisa. Lease to let. Something to do around housing and moving and having to let something go. But there's going to be complications with the pregnancy. Both? Slight complications with the pregnancy and complications in moving. Because they're saying that it has to go through, a, um, like the when you write everything out and you kind of do all of the documents and stuff, be careful that someone isn't trying to, like, skip. Like, if you're making a large move... Okay, or a large purchase. <clears throat> okay, and say you're moving and you are like been paying a mortgage and stuff, and then you're 
you know, remortgaging the house and selling it and moving on to another one. If you guys have a lot of paperwork in order to fill out, make sure that somebody here isn't skipping parts of the clause that's in the, um, the paperwork there so you end up moving to a place a little bit like, uh, what was it, moving with Richard Pryor. So Richard or Rachel. But when he turns up and he says, ah, yeah, but yeah, the windows are nice, but we're taking them with us. And he's like, ah, you're not taking the windows. And then by the time they turn up, there's nothing there because he did take them all, right? So just be careful of some kind of message around making sure that everything is checked. Make sure that you're checking up on your body as well, okay? Checking in with the doctor, checking in on the body. And then also make sure that you're checking everything that you do that is a financial decision of a big move this year, Capricorn. 2024. Are we finished with the messages, Dave? Yes. Right, Capricorn, there's your predictions. Okay. Um, so let's see what you've got coming up. Please make sure you smash that like button, uh, Capricorn. Now, don't forget, a prediction is a prediction. Is it? If it isn't happening, it's because it's coming up. Okay, so smash that like button uh, as many times as you can. Leave as many comments as you can, Capricorn. Let's get these messages out to people, and I challenge you. I'll put you to the challenge. Let's see, Capricorn, for 2024. For Capricorn. So, Cappies, you got the Seven of Pentacles, copious amounts of ganja. Let's now go down on the table, Dave. So, you've got... Someone's waiting on an investment. They've been investing in certain things or investigating into something. Like, I've really been investigating. I've been studying and learning something, and it's a new skill. And I've not gone forward on the idea yet, but I do have the idea, but I just haven't gone forward yet. I haven't come forward in order to be able to speak or say anything as a love interest. And I haven't come forward to say anything, but there's also a money venture here that may have slowed right down. It could have been very lucrative at one point, but things have like really slowed down. It's a little bit like my Patreon. During COVID, I had 200 patrons during COVID. After COVID, I've now got 60 patrons. It went down from 200 to now 60, okay? Which is a very bad financial move. But um, it was COVID, people don't join, right? So it's like that. It's like I'm waiting for an investment. I've got an idea, but things really might be slowing down quite a bit, okay? Um, now, some of you have got an idea how to get yourself out of this situation that you're in, but it is going to take some planning in order to do it. Now, it might be a financial move or a move, but there's an, there's an idea that you've got, but you just haven't implied yourself enough as you could do like like you really want to apply yourself full time to something but you might not be able to do it so if you're doing a what they're saying is like a sideline like you've got say two jobs right and you're doing a job but you haven't applied yourself <laughs> i'll just spat at the card landed on its donkey's dick here look me <laughs> anybody ever notice that the um the knight of pentacles has got a huge slong <laughs> Uh, it's not as actually it's part of its stirrup. But, um, okay, I'm hearing two things. Syrup, oh, man, I really need some paperwork. Some paper. Um, yeah, so syrup is also like carnivore diet because there's loads of syrup and sugars in food. And um, uh, that what we went over before where I said about fruit and stuff, having artificial sugars and syrups and sweeteners and stuff like that all shoved inside of it, okay? So you might be wanting to not eat a horse, but you might be wanting to look at actually eating meat here. It's up to you. Up, you know, you'll do what you like um, if there are dietary supplements. Right, now, something to do around this plan of, like, I am trying to get myself motivated, but I need to apply myself more. I need to invest into this more because I could have two jobs, okay, but I don't seem to be able to apply myself fully in one direction of money. Okay. But it is there. Okay. Because it's like I'm concentrating on watching it grow, but I don't seem to be able to put as much time into it as I wish I could. I am waiting for things to pick up, but I might need to do more of it in order to make it grow bigger. Okay. 
That's an idea or anybody that something has. Needing more of yourself to imply into it, okay? Because you could be half assing it here, Capricorn. You might be doing the Capricorn thing where it's kind of like, well, I've got, a, I've got a job and blah, 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 and that pays, but I have to apply myself more in another direction as well, and I don't really want to rock the boat with the assets that I've got, so I'll stick with what's normal. <laughs> okay, Capricorn. So you've now got maybe a new person here that could be on your mind, like an Elvis Presley, or Eric, or Alec, or Erica, or Eric, um, Eric the Electric. So that is a TV, uh, YouTube channel where it's food tasting. Um, but there's this new person. It could be something that's very fresh, very new, a new idea, a new person, someone that makes you feel very childlike. Now, if you've got a person and you're seeing them more as a child than an adult, then it could be a very childish way of communicating. It's like this standoff that you can see the stance is like, huh, you know. I've got a cup here if you want it, sweetheart, with a fish in it. But are you going to come and get it or not? And it might be this game of kind of like, look, if you want to see my fish, you're going to have to ask and beg me. Somebody here could be showing their pushery and showing their fish off here. I'm going to show my fish to you. <laughs> what kind of fish you got? <laughs> I fish. <laughs> could be dealing with the Pisces. <clears throat> Pisces like to show their fish off quite a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, Capricorn for the 2024, for the year of 2024 for Capricorn. So Capricorn, two cards, maybe Libra. The eight, Aquarius Leo, maybe being here. Tarot card readings and channels and stuff like that that I might be doing, considering doing. But I might not be able to apply myself fully into it because it may not be it's it's like a it's sort of a living it's money ish or a fish something around a pisces um but at least it's honest it's an honest living it's something that i pay tax with okay but it's an honest living okay whatever it is that's here it's being honest okay i'm being truthful i'm being honest straight cut down the line dave right um be careful you don't sit on the end of this sword. <laughs> Let's see. I'll get you, my pretty. Look at my sword. <laughs> Capricorn, 2024. For the year. It's a slow start, but things are kind of picking up, Capricorn. You may be thinking about having some time away this year. Wayman, I'm hearing the name Wayman, or anybody that's got W in their name. Um, but I'm thinking about having some time away. But this is like a carefree, careless type sort of like whisper. Careless whisper, I give you my heart. And the very next day I give it away. This year, to save me from tears, I give it to someone special. Could be Kylie Minogue, Jason. <laughs> um... Especially for you, right? But it could be where I'm going to give something to someone special. Like, I see that you're special and I'm going to give a gift and a donation to Steve. Give him a fish. Uh, <laughs> as an omen. Um, but like this, um, I'm going to give it away. So there might be a marriage or a proposal here and I'm going to give them away. If you've got grandchildren or children, Capricorn, that are of age of relationship... Someone did actually ask me, says, what does coming of age mean? Coming of age meaning mature enough to have things and do things and go their separate ways. Coming of age. So if you have children of age, of consent, then the consent is coming from someone asking for their hand in marriage and asking if they can do that. Here. A proposal of such. So look out for someone maybe getting married this year. Now, these are the children that could be born within this um, this coming up to this, like, pregnancy type sort of energy that I was channeling. I forget what your messages were now. About moving. There you go, Richard Pryor. So there could be an energy of, of moving. Now, there could be a new person. If you guys are sick to death of someone else and you apply yourself in the right direction and you start going out a little bit, 
okay, instead of sitting at home, if you go out, there could be a chance that you could meet this person here, but that's what you have to do if you want a commitment, okay? Capricorn for 2024. See, a lot of you here are single as a Pringle, but you've got like this flirt... I mean, what Capricorn isn't flirtatious and... Um, uh, vanilla, <laughs> paneer. This ain't, this ain't fucking vanilla ice, Dave. But like, um, it's kind of like this flirtatious single vibe, right? I'm single, I'm careless, I'm carefree. I don't really give a fuck. I can do what I want. I can flirt, I can work. I feel really good. I'm pissed off with my phone keep dinging. Um, here. Uh, you can ring my bell, John. Um, Capricorn Gemini. You right, John? How you doing? Um, but like this, there's John as a tarot card reader. There's Steve as a tarot card reader. Gemini, six. Okay, but like, you can ring my bell. You can call me anytime you want. But I'm single, Pringle, ready to move, ready for action, Jackson. But if it doesn't come, eh, so what? I'm happy. I've learned about being on my own is actually really good. <laughs> it's actually really good to be on my own, and I feel really good this year. And I feel hopeful the fact that I might meet this person here. Now, that's what I've got for you at the moment, Capricorn, because there really could start becoming complications around someone that you could have or are dealing with when I do more cards and I also clarify them for you. If you would like that, it really helps me out. This will be on Patreon. On the sil Sorry about my eyes, man. I'm, la I'm lactating. Uh, oxidants are coming out through detoxing, through sugar and carbs and all that uh, synthetic crap. Huh. But um, yes, if you would like to join me on Patreon, it really does help me out. Okay, you get access to your monthlies, your weeklies, and now your yearlies, all of them. But you will need to join the silver or the gold tier. Now, if you just want to watch them for one month and then not join, it's up to you, but you'll get a lot from it. Okay, so your yearlies from whenever you watch this reading, the extended version will be over on Patreon on the silver or the gold tier. There are many other things that you can interact with below. There is also the join button where you get monthlies, okay, and the odd teaching video and stuff. But it's that's the join button. It's 2 or $3. It doesn't cost much. It just helps me out to be able to do this full time. Stop with the dinging of my phone so I don't have to keep courier driving and being ripped off, basically. <laughs> okay. Okay. So thanks very much, guys. We're doing me. Don't don't forget those likes. Two hundred likes, five hundred comments. <laughs> five hundred comments, five hundred likes. Okay, so really do appreciate it, guys, and um, I will see you over on Patreon.